Okay, it's time. One, two, three. Show me the light or leave me in darkness. Ooh. What's up guys, it's Austin. Welcome to today's 3 a.m. challenge vlog. Today, I'm gonna be playing the closet game once again, but one of you guys actually requested me to play the game but break the rules. You guys seem to really like when I break the rules. I don't know if you guys just want me to be haunted by demons or what's going on, but I like breaking the rules too. It's very interesting to see the different effects that can happen. Now in the last game, I had a mirror that I brought into the ritual. You don't need to use a mirror in this ritual, but it does say on the site that I found this game that you shouldn't use a mirror in a ritual that doesn't require one. So I'm gonna use the mirror again in this one. If you guys aren't familiar with the rules, I'm gonna go over them really quickly right Right now got my little 3 a.m. book right here and uh, yeah let's get on with the rules so the closet game the risk level is high the objective is to get in touch with an entity lurking in the depths of a closet mm, nice additional warnings fire of course I'll get into that in a minute and reward bragging rights there is bragging rights to summoning a demon Okay. I mean, I guess if you survive, right? I guess that's like the bragging right. Okay. So how to play the closet game. You need a closet, of course. And it says you also need to begin at nightfall and you need one match and you need to block any curtains or windows so that there is absolutely no light showing while you're doing this ritual. There can't be any light. I could break that rule, but like it's creepier to do stuff in the dark. Taking the matches with you, step inside the closet and close the door behind you. If there's any light visible, like I said, close it. Also, if there's a light in the closet, also turn that off too. The game will not work under these conditions. You may try again when you have ensured absolutely no light can be seen once you are in the closet. Face the closet door. In other words, this closet doesn't have a door. It has a sheet over it, so I'll just close that. <laughs> Stand in the darkness for at least two minutes. You likely won't be able to refer to a watch or a clock to monitor the time. Basically what you do at this part is you stand in the closet in the dark for approximately like two minutes. You can't say anything. You just you just wait and then you hold one unlit match out in front of you. When the two minutes is over and you say, show me the light or leave me in darkness. It is the creepiest phrase I've probably ever heard. There's actually a lot of creepy phrases like besides the whole Bloody Mary thing and all that all those other ones this one is probably one of the creepiest but yeah once the two minute threshold is passed you say that and then you listen listen closely listen well if you hear nothing do not turn around well since we're breaking the rules if i hear nothing this time i guess i'm turning around right but wait what happens if i hear something oh god exit the closet the ritual has failed so that's if you hear nothing if however you hear a soft hiss a slight rustling or whisper. I actually heard a whisper last time. I'm actually gonna flash back to the footage where I heard the whisper right now. Show me the light or leave me in dark. Holy, Holy light, 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 light. Oh my God. Oh my God. Light, 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 light. Oh my God. I just heard a whisper. Light. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So yeah, as you can tell, the last time I played this ritual was very terrifying. But yeah, if I hear whisper again, oh my god, I'm running out of that closet so much faster this time. If the match goes out, light another one immediately. Do not fail to light the match in time. If you made it this far, slowly open the door and exit the closet. Closing the door behind you, don't allow the match to go out while you perform this action. Do not under any circumstances look inside the closet after the game is over. Do not look inside that closet ever again, or at least not without all the lights on in the room. There's a reason it isn't considered wise to choose a closet for this game that you regularly use for its intended purpose. If you open it again, there's no telling what you might let out. Additional information after you have completed this game, if you have completed this game, you may experience odd occurrences in the room in which the closet is located, especially at night. Oh, so you're gonna probably hear like noises, great. Cause the first time after I played this, I heard a lot of noises afterwards. Like I've been hearing thud sounds from in the closet a lot since I played this game the first time. Do not leave the closet door open ever after you're done playing the game. Some players report looking into the closet despite being warned not to and seeing two small points of light deep inside like a pair of lit matches or perhaps like eyes that's likely what awaits you too if you're able to complete steps five through six that is that's probably like lighting the match and like making sure yeah oh especially if you heard whispers and failed to light the match in time 
Oh, and one more thing. If you enter the room and find the closet door standing open, shut it immediately. Now there's actually one thing I don't think it's stated. If you do hear the whispering, you gotta light the match immediately. I think it said don't let the match go out. So what I'm gonna do is if I do hear whispering, I'm going to turn around, I'm gonna light it, and then I'm gonna immediately blow it out and then look behind me and I'm gonna see what happens with that. But if nothing happens, it says don't turn around. So regardless if nothing happens or if something happens, I'm gonna be turning around regardless. Here we go, this is the closet game. I'm breaking the rules. <sighs> Let's do this. All right guys, so it is almost 3 a.m. I got about five minutes to set everything up. I got the mirror already set up in there. Got the matches and all of that. This is my second time doing the closet game. I actually want to tell you guys a story really quick before I start the game. I have a couple minutes. So basically the other day, I was out in the living room area in the basement. I took my EMF reader out there to see if like there's still like paranormal activity going on in my basement. I took it near one of the bookshelves and it literally went into the yellow. I'm just like, Okay, there's obviously still something here. I've actually been hearing like whispering coming like near the closet ever since I played the closet game last time. It's either the shadow man or the closet game has like literally haunted my entire basement or something. But yeah, I'm summoning this demon thing again. It's gonna be crazy. I actually found a really creepy story that I'm gonna tell you guys that somebody posted online of this experience they had with a Ouija board. And I'm gonna save that for the end of this video. Without further ado, let's do this closet game thing. Okay, so I got the mirror right here. I just wanted to prove you guys that I do have it in here. They say to not do a mirror for this ritual because you don't need one for it and it could have dangerous effects. Last time I played this, creepy stuff happened. So I'm gonna try it again, see if it works. So I'm gonna put it up here. I don't know if this will work, but let's see. Okay, so I'll have to stay in the dark for about two minutes. I'll probably cut the camera and then I'll turn it back on when I start to say the words to summon this demon. So yeah, here we go. I'm gonna turn off the light now. Okay, it's time. One, two, three. Show me the light or leave me in darkness. Holy f Oh my God. What the f I swear to God, I thought I heard something behind me. It says not to let the match go out, but I have to, because I'm breaking the rules. I, I heard something, not even, okay, I let the, let the match go out, okay. Okay, now that I got myself situated, oh my God. I don't know if my eyes were just like playing tricks on me. I was looking into the mirror to see if there was like something behind me. And I look over like my right, no, like my right or my left shoulder or whatever. And I could see this figure behind me, like no joke. I, I'm not even joking, like this game freaking works. First time, I hear a whisper. Second time, I see a figure in the mirror. I don't know, it, it could have just been my eyes seeing things. Anyways, I'm going to get on with the scary stories part of this video. Here we go. Okay, so these are some creepy stories that I found online. And with that closet being behind me now, I'm very paranoid of telling these stories right now. But we're gonna do this anyway. So this first one is called the demon's room. So here we go. I worked as a forensic nurse in a hospital's lockup unit. We had one older lady who swore she was being haunted and abused by a demon she would call Tiberius. So many crazy things happened while she was on the unit. We'd go into the room, do normal care, leave, and seconds later, we would start to hear screaming like bloody murder. We'd run into the room to find her looking like she had been in a fight with a boxing champ. Bloody lip, black eye, markings all over her body. No one ever saw her doing this stuff to herself. Things would get moved around the room by themselves. At one point, she was in protective restraints because the doctor thought she was hurting herself. There was no way she could have moved or done anything to herself while in these restraints, but new marks would always appear, or her tray cart would be across the room. The room was so secure there was no way someone else was doing this. When we asked her questions, she would say it was Tiberius. After she was discharged, we always had trouble with that room. If there was going to be a rapid response or code, it happened in that room. One night, a guard reported lights blinking on and off. It was that room. Wow, could you imagine a demon being so powerful that it not only can just scratch you, but it can literally beat the crap out of you, like make you have a black eye, even like throw you across the room? That's insane. That almost sounds like the conjuring haunting where Carol and Perrin got thrown across the room by the demon that was haunting that house. True story actually too. So this next one is called Ouija Board Knocks Back. As you guys know, I've had my history with the Ouija board. It works. I also do not condone you guys to play it, but unfortunately I can't stop what you guys do. I just 
recommend that you don't play it. In high school, my friends and I were messing around with a Ouija board one night. Wow, this sounds like us. We had done it before and nothing remarkable had ever happened. We usually did it to try and scare each other or our girlfriends. We all thought it was a joke. It's definitely not a joke. That night, there was no one else home except the seven of us, and we were all together around the board. One of the girls there wanted to try it. She had never done it before. This time was different. The board misspelled some of the words the same way every time. It gave answers that seemed really historically accurate for our town things we never knew or cared about. Long story short, the spirit claimed it was a 10 year old boy who had died on the property in the 1800s, wow, and was buried there too in an unmarked grave. My friend's house was on a farm in the edge of the town. We were all a little freaked out because the board had never been so detailed and consistent. However, we were still skeptical and we were all assuming one of us was trying to scare the rest. Finally, my friend asked if the spirit could do something to prove he was there with us. It went to yes and then spelled out K-N-O-C-K, -K, knock. Then the planchette stopped moving. We all just stared at it silently and there was a rap, rap, rap on the window right next to us. Oh, it's so like, kind of like tapping almost on the window. The lights were on the outside and there was absolutely no one out there. We never touched that board again. Wow, that just gives me chills because I've played the Ouija board at Nick's house. We had a knock from inside the laundry room door where the cellar is. We opened the door and the lights were completely off. So I can kind of relate to this story, like having knocking happen while you're playing the Ouija board and just crazy stuff happening in general. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video of me breaking the rules up the closet game. Let me know if there's any other 3am challenges you guys would like me to do. With that being said, that's the end of the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. See you guys later. Peace.